Hey, boys and girls. Um, this week in math, we're going to be focusing on converting measurements. And I was thinking about stuff that we did earlier in the year. We worked on converting metric units. And I have some examples up here of length in metric units. And if you recall, if we were changing from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we did that thing where he said larger unit to a smaller unit. We would multiply. And if we were changing from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we were going to divide to find our answer. And so um, that's the same thing we're going to be doing this week. The new stuff um, in this is that we're using customary units, which are the measurements that are used in the United States. But we're going to do converting with metric units and with the U.S. customary units. So. Um, if you have your paper and pencil, let's work a couple of problems out. All right, so let's say we have um, three kilometers. And kilometers is the distance that would be used to measure long distances. And we want to change it to meters. All right, so we have to decide, are we going from a larger unit to a smaller or a smaller unit to a larger? Well, I look at this unit and I see I want to change it into a smaller unit. So I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. And so I'm going to multiply. So I'll put my three down here. I've got three of those. I'm going to multiply. And now what do I multiply by? Well, I say, how many meters are there in a kilometer? And I'm going to look up here at our chart, and I'm going to see there are a 1,000 meters in a kilometer. All right, so I'm going to say 3 times 1,000, which is equal to 3,000. So I know that 3 kilometers is equal to 3,000 meters. OK, I got my dogs outside, so now we can continue with this. All right, so we're going to start with the problem 523 centimeters, I think. And we're going to change that into meters. All right, now I know that I'm changing from a smaller centimeters to a larger unit. So I'm going from smaller to larger. So I know I'm going to need to divide. All right, so I'm going to have 523. Now what do I divide by? Well, I'm thinking to myself, OK, well, how many centimeters are in a meter? I have to go up to my chart, and I see that there are 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. So I will be dividing by 100. All right, now we could do a long division problem. And since you all did decimals, you would know how to place that decimal. Or you can do that um, mental math. Since we're dividing by 100, you put your decimal point at the end of the number. And since we're dividing by 100, we're making it 100 times smaller. So we know the decimal point would go over two places. And that would make it 5.23 meters. So 523 centimeters is equal to 5 and 23 hundredths of a meter. All right, well, let's try a few customary problems. All right, so in customary length, we're talking about those units like feet and inches and miles and yards. And so here are our equivalencies up at the top. Most of us know these equivalencies. A foot is 12 inches, a yard 3 feet, a yard is 36 inches. Now, you might not know that a mile is 1,760 yards or that a mile is 5,280 feet. But we would use these when we are converting. All right, so let's start with one like three feet is equal to how many inches? OK, so I'm looking, and I am going from feet to inches. So I am going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. And if I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, I'm going to multiply. If I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, I'm going to divide. All right, so I know I'm going to multiply in this case. I'm going to put down my 3 and multiply. What do I multiply by? Well, I say how many inches in a foot? It's 12. And I know that 3 times 12 is 36. So there are going to be 36 inches in 3 feet. All right, so we're going to try another problem. Let's try 7 miles is equal to how many feet? Pencil. All 
All right, so I'm going from a larger unit to a small, larger unit to a smaller. I'm going to multiply seven times how many feet are in one mile? Well, there's 5,280 feet in a mile. So I'm going to multiply those two numbers to get the number of feet. Okay, Google, what is seven times 5,280? The answer is 36,960. Thank you, Google Assistant. Okay, so we're going to try a couple of um, more challenging ones, and we're going to be converting from smaller units to larger units. So we're going to be dividing. So let's try one like 72 inches is equal to how many yards? Okay, I'm going from a smaller to a larger unit, so I'm going to be dividing. So I'm going to say 72 divided by what? Well, how many inches are in a yard? Well, I know there's 36 inches in a yard, so I need to divide 72 divided by 36, 72, and then left over. So I know that 72 inches is equal to 2 yards. Okay, and they don't always work out evenly. So we're going to try one like that next. All right, we're going to start with um, let's see, 126 inches. And we're going to change that into how many feet and inches because there's going to be some left over. Okay, I know that I'm going from a smaller to a larger, so I'm going to be dividing 126 inches divided by 12. Okay, so first I'm going to go over here to the side and do that long division. 12 goes into 12 once, subtract, bring down my 6. 12 goes into 6 zero times with 6 left over. So it goes in 10 feet and then I have 6 of the inches that I started out with left over. So that is equal to 10 feet 6 inches. All right, let's take one like 7,040 yards and see how many miles that is equal to. Again, I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger, and so I'm going to be dividing. So I need to take 7,040 and divide it by how many yards are in a mile. Well, I know from my chart that there are 1,760 and so I need to do that long division. So find a space over to the side and work that out. I'm going to do some estimating here. I know that's about 8,000 and this is about 2,000 so that's going to go about four times so I'm going to try four. 1,760 times four. Zero. Four times six is 24. Four times seven is 28 plus 2 is 30. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 more is 7. Okay, that works perfectly. All right, so I know that 7,040 yards is equal to 4 miles. Okay, we're going to do one last problem like this before you get started with your activity. Okay, so 90 inches and we're going to turn that into feet. All right, I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger, so I'm going to divide. And I know that there are 12 inches in a foot, so I need to do 90 divided by 12. I know that 12 times 7 is 84, so I'm going to try it 7 times, and I'm going to subtract, and I have 6 left over. Now I could write it as 7 feet with 6 inches left over, or I can write this as a fraction. All right, I know that 6 left over here is 6 out of 12, 6 twelfths, and I know that 6 twelfths is equivalent to a half. So this tells me that 90 inches is equal to 7 and 1 half feet. All right, boys and girls, I hope that this was helpful in explaining how you're going to convert units um, from larger units to smaller units and smaller units to larger units.
All right. Bye-bye.